Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the culture of vintage. I decided due to yesterday's flea market video when it was snowing and so many of you enjoyed seeing it to give you all a gratuitous snow shot uh, here on the culture. So I decided to kind of bundle up again and come out into the snow to provide that experience before today's video. Uh, but we are back. Um, it is part two of the addict. We're going to get up, sot, up, sot, up. <laughs> Play. We're going to get upstairs and uh, check out some things that we didn't get into in the first part. If you haven't checked out the first part, I'll drop the link right up there for you. But otherwise, let's get inside and do it. We are going up into the attic. Ah. <laughs> okay, so we are back upstairs where we have left off. Um... Except this time, <laughs> Richard's up here with us. Uh -huh. Richard, what were you just saying? That I need to monitor everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's... Wow. <laughs> okay. What were no, you... There's, there's okay. a bunch of stuff Okay. needs to go. That needs to be sold off. You were... There's good pieces, but they're not necessarily the easiest to ship and i'm trying to figure out like this is a beautiful clock mm -hmm. and heavy it's okay um there's a reflection there yeah it's okay um but yeah i need to start making a pile of everything that needs to be what was your dilemma how to sell it how to sell it so, I know we're go going to do an estate sale, but that probably won't happen until fall of this year. Mm -hmm. And I don't really want to wait for the last minute to try you to deal start. with everything. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm trying to decide if I should post these things on Marketplace, mm -hmm. see if I can get any interest that way. And you could do pickups and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Because that's a lot of individual items that are dealing with a lot of people. A lot of people. A lot yeah. of individual items, um, but you also have larger stuff. This is what you were saying, yes. which is kind of like the struggle mm -hmm. of it. Is you know, could you ship that? Yeah, um, that would just be such an involved process, yeah. especially when you're dealing with multiple things. That the feasibility That's of doing that twenty five pounds. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could. You know, we do have discounted shipping, so more than likely it would go through UPS. Which it surprisingly could be relatively inexpensive going through UPS ground. Um, but that's some serious work in packing that up. And making sure that it gets there safely is the other thing. So, Well, if you guys see anything you want. Okay. Is that fair? So if you guys do see anything. If you see anything of Richard's that you want... Um, <laughs> Now, to be fair, a couple of people did email me with regard to some things. So, you know, I should say that, though, too. There are some things that I'm just not going to be interested in letting go. Um, like the Bliss, the dolls. I don't know. You know what? If you're interested, just let me know. The thing that I definitely don't want are the Bliss House and Wolf. Wolfie. And I don't want to get rid of her in the red dress because I don't have that size. But you know what? You can make those decisions when you need to. Yeah, exactly. So if you're just seeing it and loving it, you just let me know. Um, so yeah, we got to go through. You know what? And I am going to sell this wooden box. Oh, what's in it? Something's in it. The game of head and tails. Hmm. That's a Parker Brothers. We'll add it both to the box. I'm going to add the clown. I am. Because I just can't keep everything. We're going to add him to the box. This rickshaw over here also. We're going to keep that. I'm just going to place that there temporarily so it's out of our way. Um, These blue dishes. Now, Richard, these are the blue di dishes 
that you were talking about selling. Is that correct? What's that? Were these the dishes? Uh-huh. So we're going to add these to the cell pile. Yep. This lamp. They're not all perfect, but they're all old. Are you trying to sell this one? Oh, yeah. Okay. That beautiful light bulb can go with it. <laughs> Free with purchase. So this is an electrified oil lamp. Mm-hmm. Clearly an older cord on there. It does work. Yeah. I love I these old plugs. Oh, you just need to put a little cardboard thing on there. I mean, you don't have to. We used um, cereal boxes. We've used cereal boxes because it's a nice, thin, pliable cardboard that will, that's all you need to prevent any like conductivity. Okay, we'll add that over there to the pile then. That marble lamp next to us. Oh, you're going to sell this marble lamp? Mm-hmm. You are? Yeah. Oh. They're heavy. They are heavy. You're going to sell that one? Yeah. Have you seen all the other marble lamps over here? There's two more behind you I'm going to sell too. Okay. They're smaller. I'm sure I have harps for all of them. Well, these we could sell. I mean, aside from the weight, I wouldn't be too scared of shipping these. Mm -hmm. So we can add those over there. We'll add all of that. These are the other. You want to sell this one? I really like that one. It's got the marble finning on it. Oh, yes, it does. Look at the veining in that. I really like that. I like the sculpt on this. It's not like overdone, super busy. Again, that's, you know... Clearly, there's going to be some weight on it, but the size. And then this one. Ooh, jeez. Look at how precious. That is so cute. Giving like a full urn vibe. I dig that one. But we're going to sell it because we have to make room. I do have this very large library of health. Look at that with the marble finish on it. Um, I mean, unless you really want this for the library... The, no, I, okay, I'm going to sell this. It's got, um, be careful here. I forget the copyright on this one. Over a million copies. We'll get to it eventually. And this is the 1944 edition, but what's really cool about it is that it has a number of these full color charts that pull away. Oh, that one came loose. You see the brain. Look at that. Flip it. There was the skeletal muscle. The muscle one. I mean, these are quite collectible. Maybe we can pull it. Ew, the guts of it all. I'm going to add it to the cell pile. Um, the Grady's Goat. This is a Milton Bradley out of Springfield, Mass. This is complete. Um, just kind of put it down here. I think it creates different kinds of sentences and whatnot. I think I'm going to... Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going to sell this one, too. <sighs> Bandon Babies. Um, I'm definitely going to keep her. She's a beautiful doll. Velvet. Oh, I love her. I think she is so sweet. I can't get rid of that one. I can't. She's going to go up there with our other babies. Okay, and over here, we've got the clown, the dancer. Let me show you. He does work. So he is wound, and how you activate him. I love these. Fully functional. It's hard to find them that work. Then you just close the drawer and he stops. Now, next to it, I've got this baggie. This has got some fabulous wood blocks to them. 
Um, I actually use some of these in a display as risers. I think I got these at the Urbana Flea Market. Really cool to see. Ooh, a very rare find. I'm gonna pull these all out. Is this one? Gypsy fortune teller. What? Milton Bradley. Cards are in here also. Look at that. The palmistry. What? The directions are in there. Mm-hmm. Gypsy fortune teller. I don't think there's any of these listed currently. The graphic is amazing. All right, so what are you busy doing, sir? Trying not to break everything. Here's the Oops. lids taped. Do you want... Just flip it over it. Flip it over it. I'm going through the medicine bottle collection and thinning it out. And here's actually a whole set of Cambridge glasses. They're sweet little glasses. They're really pretty. But I only use these, so... I've hung on to them for years. Look at how pretty... Oh, look at the shadow on my hand, Joel. Can you see that? I mean, how elegant... Imagine drinking out of those in a garden party with this full sun shining down on you and the sparkle of that. Isn't that beautiful? It seemed like one of these was... I had a box of glasses that were actually signed. I can't remember. Oh, it really? like it was Weiss. Oh, look at the bottom, even. <clears throat> Cambridge glass is beautiful. You know, that was... Look at the clarity in it. It almost reads glass. as crystal. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it is. Oh, well, there you go. I like. There. Yep, it's crystal. Yeah, it's got a it's nice got that high to it. pitch, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, again, some of them have a little flea bites in them. Okay. Wow. Are we just, are we taking, you want to put that? Over there? Yeah, I can. Okay. I'm going to add it to the pile. We got distracted. You are doing what? Thinning down my medicine bottle collection. Okay. <clears throat> I have more of a... I have a specific look that I mm -hmm. like. So, these are all just... They're great old medicine bottles. This is um, something for poultry. Oh, <laughs> of course. They're fun to read. They have all kinds of... Now, there's a whole collection of blue. Pretty. These are all the cobalt blue, and they, they've got the writing. Oh, those are really pretty. Up here. Um, somebody actually wrote on this one. This bottle's from the 1870s. Um, Hand-fingered top cobalt blue large poison bottle. Poison. Mm-hmm. Let's see. So I tend towards bottles that are a little bit earlier than this. That's oh, why Johnson & Johnson is that smaller. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They've been around a long time. Yeah, they're down in Cincinnati. Um, no, we've got a bunch of tin wire, too. Those are downstairs, that, yeah. Yeah, we might have to do in conjunction with some of this. But this just goes on and on. That's kind of a neat old one. If you wanted to do a collection of blue medicine bottles, that's a beautiful cobalt. It's yeah, going to be hard to read it in this light. Do it like that. There we go. Yeah, and there's another. That's... Oh, yeah. Those are those dark regal blues. Mm -hmm. Pretty. This has got writing on the bottom, but not. Focus. Wants to focus on the background for some reason. Hmm. It does, but... Oh, it's got like a glass stopper. Mm-hmm. So many, many years ago, we were at the flea market, and a guy Some had like bought out a snake oil sale. <laughs> Somebody had bought out an old drugstore that had been vacant for decades. Okay. And he pulled out all these boxes of medicine bottles, and we ended up buying more than half of what he had. 
Dr. Coffee Ear Vitalizer and Tonic. Oh, I thought the contents were moving on me. I was like, oh. Yeah, I can't tell what some of these are. Ramon's Pink Pills, Sluggish Liver, Billowness, Constipation. That's a door. Oh gosh, the pills are in there. Mm -hmm. That's a neat bottle. It's got the. Ooh, it looks apple. creepy. Right? And it's still got something in it. Ooh, drugs. Good times. Mm hmm. So these are ones we're getting rid of? Yep. Okay. And, and that's a, what do we have here? That's a View uh, Master. Looks like a book. Yeah, it looks like a book, but it's full of cards for a stereoscope. Mm hmm. There would have been another box that fit inside okay. that held all these. Just hold it. That probably came apart. But the book is still in great condition. What a great way to collect them, though. So That's a that lot of cards. Case and you never know. Okay. What it was. We'll add it to the pile. You are okay with us selling this one? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I really liked it, but. Why, Why are we going to use it? You can have it. Jeez. Of course, that means it just ends up back in storage. Let's sell it to somebody who's gonna love it. <laughs> we will. That I mean, I. That, it's just a gorgeous piece of glass. Look at that, and it is cut. I mean, you can feel it. So you could probably sell that too. <sighs> Why? Okay. Why do you hesitate? That'd no, be really I'm cool not hesitating. Put it with the medicine bottles. No, it's got a great look to it. But this is the piece that you were. See, I would have let this one go. I love that. This is... Because it looks so early. It is early. Look at the knobs mm -hmm. all over the bottom. And that thing glows like nobody's business, too. That's just so unusual. It's very severe. Look, that would be great for Halloween. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Kind of... Make a great little pedestal. Pustule with that red on the interior. Mm-hmm. Got that. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll keep it. Yeah. We'll see. It's an old um, shot glass barrel music box. It it played the song How Dry I Am. Okay. You know that? Mm hmm How wet I'll be if you don't find the bathroom key. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it still works. I mean, I literally grew up with this thing. Oh, really? Yeah. That needs... It would have to be fixed. I actually thought about taking you, just the barrel off. I was about to say, does it work when you pull the barrel off? No. The music box is down here. So it works independent? Yeah. But it's got its little shot glasses and everything. But I think it's probably time for a new home. Okay. Are we adding it? Yeah, I don't know. I got it. Okay. Ooh, it's heavier than I thought it would be. There's everybody's favorite. The Nummy. Thing out. I can get it out. I don't know how it works. If it works. Let me come around here. Yeah, I mean, it's got the hand crank. Mm -hmm. Look at this speaker right here. Yeah, and that's what you got into it at the last the rolls. video. It had all the rolls. But I have no idea how you get it to play. You should probably Google it. And it looked like it was there. Yeah, that goes there. I'm sure it's Edison. Yeah. But you know, they had those voice recorders and everything uh -huh. like that. I don't know if this plays music or what. If we figure out how to make it work. When you move the handle, what moves on the interior? Anything? This? Yeah. 
That's winding a spring, I think. Because I don't see anything turning here. You would think that would be an on and off switch. Maybe somebody even... watching will know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and then those rolls, I can't figure out how in the world those would even fit in. But obviously this is for the sound. It transfers down through mm -hmm. here. So it's playing whatever's on here. What's this? Probably a release from the... Interesting little contraption. It is. I thought it was neat looking and I got a really good deal on it, but I think I need to let it go. Okay. That might I be a marketplace yeah. item. It's got a great aesthetic to it though. Mm -hmm. It really does. Again, with all the medicine bottles, mm -hmm. that's a great look. I like those. Um... Oh, I can't think of the name of the. We've talked about it before. Who was the detective? Sherlock Holmes? Yes, thank you. Okay. It's got that old. Gentleman's Library. Mm -hmm. Mystery, mayhem, and murder. <laughs> There's reels again. Is it a reel? It yeah, looks like thing. an empty case. Yeah, it looks... Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, that's like a record. It's vinyl. Oh, so the needle. So instead of spinning around, it, it just turns. Rotates. Yeah. Let me see. Well, here, do you want what you I'll want do to the see? cover, yeah. <laughs> see if it says if it's a song on there. Edison Blue Ambrel Record. What is a record? Um, you need better light up here. Trademark Thomas Edison. The font on the back of this is so tiny. <laughs> 1912 is 1913. <clears throat> 12. 1912. I'm assuming it says something about Edison. It was 60 cents. That's expensive. I don't see a name. This was patented December 4th, 1917. Do you think if they had caps, it would say on the cap? You know? Because if you stored them lying down, do any of them have caps or tops? It doesn't no. look it. It does say something on the... The record itself? Nobody knows the trouble I see. So it's written right around here. Oh, Lord. I see. Oh, it's like embossed. I see. Mm -hmm. The revival meeting at Pumpkin Center. <laughs> the Dullheart. V. Dullheart. We had some movement there for a minute. It scared me. <laughs> it took off. There's life in there. I wish I had got that. <laughs> the whole thing just went. <laughs> okay, so we've at least figured out. For some reason, the on off switch isn't connecting. So the spring is intact. It's good because that's what scared the crap out of us. Okay, let's switch it off. Try cranking her again. And that's what happened. When I turned it on, it let the spring loose. It went haywire. So now it's on. That's off. I've already cranked it. I've got tension on it. Okay. And then this drops the record on and off, or it locks mm -hmm. it. Allows it. No, this it, is. It drops the needle down on the record. Okay. Did so I turn the I flashlight off? Yeah. Oh, hold on. Let me try to. There we go. You turn it on. You drop the needle down. It should be playing, and it's not. Now I can manually do that, but I'm not hearing anything. Really. So something's disconnected. A lever, maybe. 
I don't, I mean, the record, I would think you'd hear something. Maybe we do but yeah, have there a is long... something connected. Disconnected in there. Disconnected. So that's just a matter of lifting this mechanism out of there. And it's probably a spring that's, you know, allow the mm -hmm. thing to spin. Looks like a Phillips head right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I could take it apart pretty easy. I've worked on these things before. Not this particular thing. Well, let's do it. See if we can get it running. Yeah. It could be fun if it actually played. That would be amazing. So one's, we did do some research. So about six fifty for the player. Interestingly enough, the records aren't really worth, like a box like that, that you yeah. have here is about $13. Yeah. Um, but the players themselves are really where the, the money's at. I realized I could have had the flash on the whole time. Gives us a lot better view of things. Figured out how to get the record off. Oh, okay. That's important. And this is supposed to be... So down here, I also have a chatterbox. Every day will be Sunday when the town goes dry. <laughs> Sounds exciting. These are great. I love these. 1882. Good condition. All right, let's go through this little box down here. Next, Richard went downstairs to check on the dogs. Okay, so <laughs> oh, I am a huge ephemera freak. I just am. I mean, I've got oodles and oodles of ephemera. Letters. Look at this gingerbread boy. I love this gingerbread man. He's a man. Some die cuts in here. Oh, look. Antiques. I even have folks' letters and pictures in here. Goodness. Holy moly, Michael. Holy moly. What is this? The Cosmopolitan. Do I have an antique Cosmopolitan? Oh, this is the Cosmopolitan. Not Cosmo. Goodies Lady book. Oh gosh, I forgot I had these. These are the individual issues in here. Look at this. I do have some amazing paper. I thought I brought these. I couldn't find them. Well, here they are. These are contemporary from Alpha Stamps. What's down here? Oh. Golly, I have some beautiful paper. Some old books. I think these are pre-Civil War. 1846. The head, the heart. Again, I think that's pre-Civil War. Nope, 1871. Oh, look at this. Forget me not. A registry of anniversaries and of birthdays. I love things like this. There's those Christmas postcards. Nothing scary there at all. You're safe, kids. You're safe. It's a whole series of these. Oh my gosh, I love these. I'm going to go over here. These I just recently purchased off the van. Whoa! Grover, Snuffy, I just got these from Vamp. They're the Sesame Street Fisher Price, and that Snuggle right there from the Smurfs. Very contemporary. I got a Tori Amos record in there even. Oh my gosh. We moved Tori. We've got more uh, ephemera in there, I do believe. Kind of a Louette style. Look at this. That green iridescent cloud. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Small but mighty, excellent condition. Just gorgeous with that. Look at that. Oh, I love it. 
this works, this little kissy music box. Richard actually fixed this. Let's see. Look at... I don't know if it, oh love story love story is what it is and then we have some Milton Bradley soldiers here some of them are missing their heads they're battle worn and weary the box is underneath it this is what you're seeing displayed on top of it let's put that down here quick um, this is amazing we've got this ideal shooter what is that? Oh, those are pixie sticks. This is what I was just talking about with somebody the other day. Um, oh, we've got the old wooden German animals in there. A Hickok, a, a Hickok um, kind of art deco. It's a men's coupling box. It's actually mid-century, but this ideal shooter game. I love these old toys. Look at, yup, it even has the cap guns. So you just put these guys back up and then you can shoot them with your gun. This is fully functional. This is the original gun. This is a replacement one. I believe, I can't remember which goes with which. Let me see. Locked and loaded. And then we just pull and get it to go down. Let's see. Even at this close range, probably not, but maybe. Bam! Aggressive. Saying. I have a beautiful pair of. Oh yeah. There's a. I have this really rare TV. Really rare. Oh my gosh. That I am going to sacrifice. Uh huh. And let go. If anybody's interested. There's the Art Deco butterfly lady. Mhm. Mm that you're not allowed to let go of. Ever. Right. Let me get this out of the way. And I'll show okay. You there it is. Yeah. Woo! That's some Regency if I've ever seen some. Isn't that cool? It's a look. <laughs> it is. It is. I had lampshades. have the lampshade up here that went on it. But I feel like it needs a gold lampshade. It was. It's on the floor lamp in the bedroom. Okay. That's the one that I... Kind of like a drum shade. It was this style. And it was the right color. Yeah, that's so like cream. Alright, hang on, I'll go get the other. No, don't, 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 don't. We get well, the look. See it. No, it's okay. Because then we're moving, we're moving stuff around. <laughs> Trust me. Whomever okay. wants that lamp has the vision for the shade on there. Mm -hmm. They know. It's okay. a look. Marketplace for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just talking about these yesterday at the flea market with one of the vendors. He was like, yeah, I want a little. And I was like, oh, I think I have them. I sure do. It's harmless, harmless colors, but they're like little wooden. Uh, I can open it here. People in there, and you make different animals and whatnot with them. That's super cute. I got it confused with the pixie, pixie sticks there. Pixie build a toy. The glass labels, yes. Mm -hmm. I knew I had Were this from auction? Yeah. Okay. We got those sweet tiny ones. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I remember now. Okay. Itty bitty. I'll go back in with the medicine bottles. Okay. Totally forgot about this vase. I mean, are you in love with this vase? Or... I feel like we had two at one point. No, I'm not. You're not? I could care less. Oh, well then. <laughs> to the trash you go. It is beautiful, though. It reminds me of the lampshades that you're looking for. Yeah. Mm hmm So we had a lot of packing paper in there, so that's kind of good because it was taking up 
out of room. Here's a self-knowledge book. Oh, I love these. They're so... Inscription of 1912. Copyrighted. 1913. Well, I don't know how that happened, but... The home, the essentials of the home, the boy's relation to the home, the girl's relation to the home. How to teach social purity and sex truths to a child, to a girl. List of illustrations. Well, you didn't get me the... Oh, there was one. These morality books are so funny. Love them. Right to sex knowledge. Cheers. Oh yes, this Moonchen. Kind of like a um, stationary box. Look at that. With that celluloid cover on there. Is that not... Now clearly the purple velvet has worn off. I think somebody um, redid this. Which I'm not overly mad at. Because that exterior is it. Look at her. Seeing her with the black hair, golly, that's gorgeous. Um, and then over here, it's like a cigar box tramp art, right? Clearly it's missing two of the numbers. It was from 1896. An embellishment here we're missing right up top there. That they are both present on there. Look at that. I think that's fabulous. It's not in the best condition. Clearly the top is a little loose, but uh, I think that's quite unique. Love that piece. The back opens here, as you can see. Got some more books. Woods Natural History, an older Pinocchio. Oh, look at this. I rescued this book. It is falling apart, clearly. However, the illustrations on the interior are just fabulous. Let's see here. If we can get, I think this is a color plate one right here. Carefully trying to get it to. Oh, nope, not a color plate. Do we have any color plates in there? Let's fly you down here, little one. Mm. Now they're all in like that blue. I love the fact that there's illustrations throughout every single page. I know that there was some unusual stuff in here, and that's definitely why. I, oh, there are. Look at what. Hippopotamus. Of course, I'm going right by all of the plates. There's another one. Sailing past a little village. Look at the toys. Think about a milk Duh, bottle. Love it. Is adding a milk bottle in an amber. Signature quality. Gail Bonden. Ooh. Oh, it's just dusty. What does it say? Dur uh, glass? Dugan, Der Douglas, Douglas, I don't know. What is this? It was one of my two first teddy bears. The other one's downstairs with the music box. Oh, yeah. 1942. Well Jeez, Richard, have you been... <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Add him up there with the other toys. He's going to be kept safe. There he goes. Now he's with friends. Puppies, McLaughlin Brothers. These are amazing. Beauty and the Beast. The Animal Frolics. We've got the old Dame Trot. What'd you find? That's another of those. This is a local artist that lived across the street. And I know she told me it had something to do with beeswax. So it looks like it's just acrylic paint to me. There was something special about that. I hmm. could find out. Framed matted print. How would people feel about an art sale? Because we got a bunch of art up here, too. There's a bunch There's of art. Local land, other. Yep. I mean, hey, why not? We can try it. We can always list on band. Too. Yeah. 
I'm making a huge mess. I need to clean up my mess and get this stuff in there because I'm almost done. There's little Richard baby shoes. He's even got the beaded safety pins on there. Look at that. Look at that. So cute. Cambridge glass. Look at that beautiful pattern. Look at the shine. Oh, and it's filthy. If that was cleaned up, see all the dust on it? You can see the light on the back, back here, reflecting. Mm hmm Yeah, well, see, I can see all the dust. <laughs> yeah, but yet it's still sparkling. Uh-huh. So there's a whole set of those glasses in here. What mm -hmm. is, I mean, that's a sweet little glass. That's beautiful. Hmm. Oops, jeez. Well, that's what it's looking like. Still a little bit of a mess, but at least everything fits on there. Gosh. This is scary. Oh, Lord. Right there. You were just on a kick for those eggs. Mm -hmm. These, are, I grew up with these. Oh, look at that, this one. There's some really pretty ones in there. That color's gorgeous. I always like the blue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these marble eggs are really pretty. Let me see the blue. Oh, you gave me the blue marble egg. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I don't get it. No, I know you don't. It's right here. It's evidence. He gave me the blue marble egg. All right, so we know that the video has been rather long today. Um, we've been kind of playing around and organizing and going through. Richard is still tasking it out there. There's a lot of stuff to go through. Um, clearly there's a lot of items from Richard's history, um, collections, things that are going into uh, the remodel house, as well as items that have been used for display at the inn. Ah, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's very fluid video. It's just been a lot of nonsense. No. Uh, so guys, um, until the next time, I, we will see you then. We're going to keep digging through it. Maybe Richard will get that Edison to play. Who knows? I have projects for tonight. You do have some projects for tonight, that is for sure. Bye, guys.